Hello, hello, and welcome back to Sunless Sea. When we left off, we returned to London, and we're going to be trying to get ready to go on a hunt for some pirates. Let's start with a little stop at home to read the morning paper. And then head off to the Admiralty to turn in our port reports. Oh, I have strategic information from as well, I forgot. Yeah, sure, let's do that. 150 echoes, another favor, hell yeah. Oh uh, yeah, let's turn in our port reports. Gators Mourn. That pays really well for not a far trip. Uh, yep. There we go. Similarly, hmm. You know, and how what is the mutton eye the Quaker Saving Report? That loop, I think, might be just about beneficial in terms of gaining fuel. Cutting th through those three locations. Like, if I didn't go hunting for pirates... Oops, I think I would have gotten more, uh, a lot, I would have been a, oh my god, I'm fumbling on all the buttons. I think, I think I would have, like, actually been on a positive fuel if I hadn't done that. Interesting. Alright, so if we're making a very, very long trip, uh, let's go ahead, hang on, let's start by going to the shops and getting ourselves back, oh, hang on. Let's go out on a night on the town first in case that does anything unique and interesting. Uh, someone is waiting for me, a new recruit. Who wants to uh, join? We have the Brisk Campaigner. Or an Azalea. Well, might as well get her. Oh, you. You need a real physician. None, uh, uh, none of you are surgeons. The Brisk Campaigner is a, a skilled doctor. Increases hearts and iron. Welcome aboard. Hmm. Don't you have any, anywhere cleaner? Well, if I must do it myself. Where can I find a mop? All right, sounds good. Let's look at our officers. So our current surgeon is this woman, who's a little eccentric. A uh, doctor aboard, plus one, hearts six, iron six. Hearts six, iron three. Oh, so the other one's just better. She's marched with armies and cured generals. Don't annoy her. Let's speak with her. I increase my hearts, and I can invite her to dine with me, but she wants some mutter salts. Okay. Uh, now let's go for a night out in the town. Marvelous night. Nice. Uh, someone who's a name, or I spend the night with, someone whose name I don't recall afterward, or the dapper chap. It's not such a coincidence, he protests. I had to meet a ship for a, or from home, another one. His eyes meet yours, but it's good to see you. Oh, so I, I happened to bump into him, but it's because he was actually there looking for a boat. Share warmth, new memories, or new memories. It's hard to say goodbye this time. Something new, and it reduced my terror. My handsome spy boyfriend. All right, let's go ahead and do some of this, do some of this. Um, alright, yeah, let's... Ooh, hang on. Ma make sure we maximize our hearts. Bring our ferret, because the bitches love ferrets. Hearts of six, hearts of six. Yeah, alright. Crew we have is good. Now let's go over and try it. Da -da -da. Sorry, scratching an itch. Oh, actually, hang on. Let's go do some shopping for food first. Get our food up to, uh... Let's get it to 12. Alright. And now let's go do some more of this. Got two. Got three. Uh, how is that looking now? Oh, my... Or, oh no, my storage is getting very close to full. I'm at 12 fuel. How's my hold looking? Let's do one more shot at them. Because I'm at 36. Because if I get two, I don't want to do it. I don't want to accidentally have to waste things. Oh, hang on. Let's sell that spider silk. Because I'm not going to use it anytime soon. Where can I sell that, if anywhere? Uh, probably up. Yeah, there. 
We'll buy for 100, sell for 50. Oh, hang on. That stuff's easy to buy if I want to help the other guy. Let's sell it for now and see if we can't keep stacking up the approved literature. All right, now let's go talk with uh, talk with this guy again. All right, the girl. Failed, and one more time, and we might get to full. Oh, look at that. Our hold is now completely full with us carrying as much fuel as we can get away with after everything. I thought I bought... I could have sworn I bought more food. Did I buy fuel by mistake, not thinking? It's okay, we can always monster hunt if we need food. I want it to be at 12 food. Well, let's set off. So yeah, we're on, we're taking the long road to Polytherium. Uh, we'll stop We'll stop by Shepherd's Isle on the way back if we're doing good. Same goes for Salt Lions. But, I think I do want to pay a small visit to Pigmo and the Con, uh, Con's Shadow and all of that, because those things can give very good port reports. Yeah, let's turn a small... Well, Pigmo Isle can't give a good port report, but I just want to help Pigmo Isle out more. So yeah, let's cut diagonally towards Pigmo. Oh, ah, uh, here we go. So, this is a fun little thing. Uh, way back at the beginning of the series, some people might remember a person in chat was saying that this game was like, had weird representation. I was like, what do you mean? Like, so let me demonstrate this. I was allowed to pick my pronouns at the start. I was allowed to pick if I wanted to date a man or a woman. And now, an unexpected letter. Who sent it? And what does it say? It's your sweetheart. Or you. So you can either choose... Uh... Yeah, what is it? Yeah, you can either say you, you either my partner, who looked very much like a man, I would say, from the profile picture, can tell me, "Hey, I'm pregnant, and you're the father." They can tell me, "Hey, I've adopted a kid," or you can tell them, "Hey, I'm pregnant, and you're the father." So you are given the option of. Your partner is pregnant, you're pregnant, or you adopt- your partner adopted a kid. Like... I think, like, the representation is pretty fucking good. If you want, you can be a they-them dating a, a, a male prefer- prefer- a they-them who has impregnated your male presenting partner. Like... It's... I feel like the representation is pretty well set. The only thing they're missing is letting you date somebody who identifies as they, them. But, like... Yeah, nah, I'm... I don't get those complaints that person had all the way back at the start of the series. They don't make sense to me. But, uh... We get a letter. A surprise uh, for you on your next return to London. I've taken in a foundling. Uh, yes, yeah. Choose this option if you sire the child, choose this option if you're giving birth to a child, and choose this option if you're unlikely to be either a father or a mother. I love that. But you can't just say, I don't have a kid. <laughs> so yeah, they went ahead and adopted a person because they trust me enough. You have a child, return to London to look after them, and they may become a, a Sakone, allowing you to take, the, uh, take on two legacies. So yeah, this is another way. So... We haven't touched on it yet, but there's the if you die, you can pass on a legacy. And there's a few ways to increase how many legacies you have. One of them is to get your kid to want to go out to sea. What are they thinking? Is this some scheme of theirs or an honest affection? I like to think that it's actually one of the kids that I knew when I was a street urchin. You're one of the lost boys. Grown too old for the streets, I see. All right, yeah, we're on a good route for Pigmo. All right, now we just charge. This game is delightful. <laughs> yeah, I, like all in all, I feel like this game handles representation incredibly well, and I I appreciate that. I love that that's a thing that's been going up in gaming. Like hell, you can play a, a woman with a, a penis in both Cyberpunk and Baldur's Gate, and I'm all there for that shit. 
I love though how many streamers got jump scared by that and when they played Cyberpunk for the first time and they like going through character creation and just like full schlong out and there's like Whoa. I know very little about the story of that game. I gotta uh, get into uh, like I want to stream that at some point for sure. Pirate, 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 pirate. Nah, he's too far off. And we'd have to go very out of our way to hit them. Uh, chewing away at more shadow is always a fun thing to do. I mean, I, I, I haven't been sending out the Z-Bat, but I don't think there's much for it to find. I think we found pretty much all of the dockable locations to be found here. We've been sailing mostly familiar waters. Hmm. Let's turn down this angle a little bit. Yeah, we should be heading right for Pigmoat. There's a jellyfish there if I wanted to hunt it for food. Looks like I didn't need to worry as much about food as I did. Alright. We're in the snares, so apparently Pigmo is in a location called the snares. Looks like there is a little bit of rock there I haven't gotten. Oh no, the jellyfish. Uh, so scary. I should outrun this with no problem with my awesome engine. Alright. Let's just glide on into port. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Hail Marina. Two houses both like indignity. Uh, they have another dilemma. Of course they do. Uh, oh my god. They charge a lot for repairs right now. Oh, uh, let me look at my journal real fast. Let's see what their stats look like. Let's collapse some of these things. Where is the Pigmo Island tab? So, all right, their lowest thing is civilization. Their best is their spirit. A cloaked man in a hippo mask stands surrounded by a pack of rodent soldiers. We caught this one sneaking around by the... The, a the aide hesitates. Pa uh, pause sketching a shape of Pigmoat's uh, blue scintillac. What should we do with him, hairless advisor? I can speak to the mysterious man. He comes to me from the I an island called Visage. Beyond that, the rodents have learned nothing. Hmm. Expertise in parts, no more than six. So I don't know a lot about Visage. Advocate for his release. Hmm. Pigmo Island is not ready to handle the uh, repercussions of imprisoning the and or exalting the citizen of another nation or advocate for his arrest. The rodents must decide a punishment that fits the crime. Hmm. Let's talk with the person. The visitor from the island of Ma is visitors from the island of masks. He draws himself to his full height. Flourishing blessings upon you, noble frog. The light of our lost left eye draws our gaze. Oh, draws our gaze. I come to confirm it is our see. Uh, confirm our scryers foretold, and the speech goes on for some time. Damn it! Is there not uh, anyone underneath that doesn't convert? Uh, uh, convert, uh, covet Marina's l lamp of the blue or er, Marina's lamp of blue scintillac. I can speak. Hmm. So there, they he really is looking for the eye. I have three. I have four. I feel like this is a question of which one do I want to lower, and I'd rather lower this one if I had to pick. Advocate for his arrest. The rodents must decide a punishment that fits the crime. Oh, I increased that thing. The, ma the masked man puts no up no resistance for the guards as the guards lead him away. We will tie him down while we decide his fate, squeaks the aide, perched on your shoulder. We have no prison that can hold him, but our ropes are sturdy. I hope they are sturdy enough. 
All right. Hopefully that's that. Hopefully not doing too bad after that. I can visit the ghetto. Um. I can bring food. I can attempt to broker a union if there. If I raise the spirits enough, which I feel like I'm really gonna want. I think I might. So I got the food to spare to smuggle to them. Let's compile a port report. I can try to steal the eye if I want. If I make them weaker, I can make it easier. That's funny. I got eight food. How much do they... How much would I give them if I was trying to smuggle food in? Two. Let's do it. Yeah, raise their spirits. That's very, very good. Oh, hang on. I should have read that. They gave me something in return. Some Scintillac. Cool. Scintillac, Scintillac, whatever. And I, yeah, I'm not allowed to do it again right now. Successful boost spirits failure will reduce it. So let's wait a little while. Um, yeah, let's, let's move on for now. So now I want to pay a quick visit to Khan's heart at the very least. Because it is the one that, um, uh, is easiest to gather intel on and isn't really as wary of outsiders. And it should pay good because they're the enemies of London. Which, man, they're uh, just straight up a hop, skip, and a jump away from London territory. Because London controls all of this out to the Salt Lions. And uh, the the Demex Island. This is London's territory. Is this little triangle, currently. And we know that these guys have been spotted in Gators Moor, and so they're very much passing through or around the London territory. That's scary. I think the canal is arguably... An extension of London territory as well, but we know the Iron Republic definitely isn't. Interesting stuff. Most of these places are their own independent territories more than anything. Pigmo is like right next to the cons, like they're dangerously close to the cons. They gotta be careful. Oh, apparently I just discovered the porcelain quarter for the first time. I love the music in Khan's, Khan's heart, or the Khan's waters. The soundtrack in this game slaps. I'm surprised this game doesn't have, like, a, a modder base. You could, I feel like this would be, uh, all in all, a fairly easy game to mod, and you could probably put some really cool things into it. Trade a hunting trophy for watchful curio. Yeah, let's do that. Have the one-eyed skirmisher carve something from your hunting trophy. I like the sound of that. He runs his knobbled fingers over the oh oh over the trophy. He clicks his tongue. Good bone. He grinds. He chips. He engraves. He mutters a half dozen in a half dozen languages of pe pesterbrate. Soon, four little blocky figures of bone stand in a row before him. Their eyes are wide and angry. Saw these in the Elder Continent once. Still do when I sleep. Or when my mind wanders. He drops them on your palm. Go charge. If they start watching you, maybe uh, they'll stop watching me. Hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Pile of port report. And I don't go on to do any shopping here, do I? You can buy some human souls. Some ivory. Fuel is pretty cheap. Food is pretty expensive. 
I can buy outlandish artifacts. Those are a pretty good trade up back at London, but I don't think it's profitable here. I think I'm good without buying food right now. So let's set off down. All right, let's head to the uh, to Godfall. This should be the right angle, right? I like the skull painted on that boat. I love the idea of like a city of boats. It's a really cool idea. Oh man, we're at the 20 minute mark, huh? Let's uh, stop at Godfall and end the episode there. All right. I love that every section of sea has its own soundtrack. It's very nice, and it really helps set a mood. We hear those voices that will not be drowned. This is the sea of voices. Yeah. We are close to Polytherium. There is where nothing is truly dead. I wonder if this was always here, or if this is one of the uh, islands they added in updates. Because that'd be cool if that is what this was. Alright, uh, we're going to end episode here and then interact with it next time. So, I hope you've all been enjoying this episode of Sunless Sea. And cars will be appearing in a moment. Click one of those to continue watching. Love you very, very much and ta-ta for now.